Hello everyone and welcome to another Thursday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis and today I have to make a get well soon card. A very, um, I hate when I have to do those but you know I'm going to visit somebody at the hospital today and I thought I'd take them a little something something. So I uh, created this card partially with fabric, partially with paper, including paper towel. Um, but I did make all this fabric. Um, so I thought I'd show you how to do that. This is like a little faux tie dye uh, piece that I had done. And this fabric here is actually from jelly plating. So I used uh, one of the new crafters workshop stencils and just took a plain pull with some blue paint on my jelly print on my jelly plate and uh, then use that to cut up and to create the bowl. Okay. There we are. Um, the paper here is a tissue, Japanese tissue. Um, uh, and uh, the orange bit here is paper towel that was dyed from a previously loved uh, painting session. So um, I often remove paint after I've put it on, as you all know, when you've seen me paint. And this is, I, I never throw it. Well, I shouldn't say never. I don't always throw out my paper towel after using them for painting. I keep them, I dry them, and I use them for other projects. So here it's coming out here now. And um, the paper that this is on, the background paper, is actually um, a handmade pulp. Um, this one um, I think is from India, but it's a nice weave, but it is a handmade paper, nice and strong. And uh, can't wait to use it. It's going to act a lot like fabric, actually. So you can use everything mix and max, mix and match. I can't speak today. My goodness. Paper and fabric. And then we're going to sew it all together with some free motion stitching. And then I'll uh, take that and hopefully make the day of uh, this person that I'm going to go visit this evening. So tie dye, faux tie dye fabric. The girls uh, that were chatting with me earlier online asked if I could do this with you and happy to do it. So um, this is uh, white cotton. So what I do, or what I did, is I put down some paper towel because this is going to get a little bit messy. And it's going to absorb some of the uh, water that I'm going to spray on my fabric. So I just have a water bottle with water. And I'll just mist the fabric get it all ready to go and then I have some orange and some yellow this is so soft paint from deco art I am going to put some of that on my craft mat and let's do a blue one this one's ocean blue sounds fun And let's do a little bit of the dark rose. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is take a wet brush. This is just a half inch brush and doodle. And I'm just gonna doodle some flowers. Oh, let's see if I can't move. I'm just doodling. I'm just going to put paint down on this fabric. Notice I am not doing anything special. I'm just throwing it on. All I'm wanting to do is create a pattern. It doesn't even have to be symmetrical. I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow in here. Grab some more orange. So I'm just making a mess. <laughs> Trying hard not to think too much about this process because it's all going to get blended together anyway. So if you can think of it in that line, it might help you be a little more free. There we go. Grab some yellow, slap it in there. 
Okay. Clean my brush a little bit. I'll get a smaller brush this time. And I'm going to grab some of that pink. And just outline what I did on that deep rose color. Not caring if it mixes, because again, it's going to be mixed in the end. So this is it, everybody. Like, this is how fast I'm going. Got to give it another spritz. And add the blue. And I'm not caring if I go over the colors that I've already placed there. At least not too much. I'm kind of keeping around so it's going on the outside edges of it. But again, not caring too much. I could be more precise, and sometimes I am more precise when I'm doing my fabrics. But I, I just wanted a tie-dye effect here. So all I'm really wanting is... Uh, is a blend so I don't need to be precise at all it's all going to be mixed up in the end there we go Okay. I think that's pretty good. So I've got some good blobs on there. Now I did flowers because that's my go-to, but you could certainly do circles or blocks or however, You're just wanting punches of color in a pattern. Then I fold, look at this beautiful paper towel for later. <laughs> So I'm going to fold my fabric, okay? Straight paints or fabric medium. Um, I'm using fabric paint right now, but you could, if you wanted to, use um, uh, on a regular acrylic. Add some fabric medium if you want it washable. And I'm just twisting. I'm going to twist it this way first, actually. Twisting, twisting. Wear gloves if you don't want to get really messy twist it this way and then twist it wring it out a bit so you can see where my my paint is coming out a little green from the mixing in the Ooh, I can't wait to use this later save this paper towel for another day and unravel twisting the night away <laughs> So I have this pattern when it comes out. It's really kind of neat. I like it. So this is what I did to create just a really flash bit of color. And this avoided me from using uh, dyes. I have fabric paint in my um, craft stash to begin with. I get, um, I ha have it here at this, at the studio. It's like $1.99 a color. So it, it's handy and you can use it for multiple things. And when I want tie dye, especially for a project that's going on paper, that's just a mixed media project, I might not want to get out all the dyes and, and go ahead and use all the ass, like all go through all the steps to dye fabric. This is a neat way to get the same a look. So there you be a neat little tie-dye for this card I am going to attach everything with PPA let that dry I'm going to heat it up so it dries quickly and then I will stitch it uh, together so I do have my PPA my perfect paper adhesive um, it will do light materials as well again I wouldn't let it I'm sewing it so I don't have to worry so much about fabulous adhesion for the fabric. I could use a regular gel medium if I wanted to. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the PPA down on this paper. Now remember I said this is a handmade paper. So here we go. Let's 
Sorry, guys. So put the paper down. Uh, sorry, put the and then put the PPA over top of the fabric and seal it in there. Just like you would the paper. There we go. So I did cut my, um, see if you can see this. I just cut my bowl into two pieces. So this first piece was this outline and then I cut the top off. <laughs> so I can make a bowl. So I'm going to work from, from the back to the front um, so that we can get all these pieces together. So the first thing I'm going to do, again, you want to make sure you have glue down on your base. Make sure I'm getting this in the right one. Then I'm going to put some glue down on the back of this fabric. Just make sure it's well adhered. Here we go. And we'll put it on the card where I'd like it. The next piece is the paper towel. Here we go. There we are. And I'll put that down as well so that there's a lip on there. Looks like I stretched it a bit. <laughs> I'm going to have to probably cut it but that's okay before I glue it all the way down I'm going to take my scissors and just cut it to size there if that's my mother calling I'll call her after I just looked up and saw something about artists with hoarding issues. <laughs> Can't say that's not true. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this on. Oh, before I do that, I need to do it for the... Uh... The spoon. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's let this dry. So I have some, I have a all pencil here. Stabilo all. I think that's kind of fun looking. So I just have to mount this now on a card and write to get well soon and a little message in there so i am going to um put this online on our blog the arthouse studio.blogspot.com and uh, with the uh supply list there and an edited version of this video that i will upload to youtube as well and the blog you'll find at um, as I mentioned, theArthouseStudio.blogspot.com. Our website is theArthouseStudio.ca. And don't forget to join us on Facebook. The Art House Studio Canada is the uh, Facebook page. So like, give us a like over there too and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the recording and we will see you all again next week. Bye everybody.